have my um, pens with me made out of green like denim, so.
to if people know our other name. And this is what I'll skip over because um, this is mostly about audience. One of the things I like to remember about the audience is that I like to think of the audience as my neighbors. And I think of people as I am writing. I will think, now, if my my grandmother, may she rest in peace, I would, you know, she would ask me questions like, well, well, we used to have to take the labels off. You know, think about explaining it to a child. Think about explaining it to a 10-year-old, you know. Think about explaining it to an elderly relative. Um, you know, think, put yourself in the situation of your neighbors who have a lot of competing uh, things going on in their life. And then also ask what barriers they're facing. And this has to do with planning your programs. If you are having a drop-off event, one of the concerns of someone, a single mother with two small children who needs to drop off household hazardous waste in an event, one of her concerns may be, if I get in the line and my kids lose it, can I get out of the line? So if you are anticipating long lines at an event, be upfront about that. And let people know or have um, some, I know people who have the events in their parks so that they can have actually some uh, activities for kids while they're there. So anticipate what their real life barriers would be besides just information overload, which is obviously one of them. And then, you know, because I do work a lot nationally, I've been to many sessions where they've said, well, you need to do focus groups. Focus groups are awesome if you have a big budget. Uh, focus groups can be expensive to evaluate. Um, they're expensive to put together. They're expensive to evaluate. Uh, do informal focus groups. Mind the information resources that you already have. The people who answer your phones, the people who pick up the email, the people in the billing office who take people's calls, the truck drivers, those people have on the streets information and they know the questions people have. So ask them what they're seeing, what they're hearing, what problems they're running into. That, that is a focus group you didn't have to pay anything. And then you also have the option of, at, if you have events, do surveys or ask them informal questions. Asking where did you find out about this event is one thing. And I will say, um, I've had several people who went from print newsletters to electronic newsletters and they have gone back. Because what they discovered is, uh, yes, you know, we were sending out 30,000 newsletters and we know 30,000 people weren't always reading them, but we were getting three times as many people at our events when it was a print piece, even if it was in the same day as the grocery hand. So um, I actually have several people who've gone back to print because what they're finding is there's so much competition in the electronic space. And then, of course, talk to your peers and find out what they're doing. Just a little Swano plug. There is, if you are a Swano member, there is a My Swana area where you can connect with other people who are also members. So if you're a member of the Land of Lincoln chapter, you also have access to that at the national website. And it's, it's a great way to connect with people find out, you know, what somebody else has tried and whether it has worked. So take this information, listen to what people have to say, and then design your communication program based on what you hear from them, and then communicate, which seems kind of obvious, but isn't maybe as obvious as it seems, or it, it is, and it's uh, taken as seriously as it should be. Again, behavior change. We're asking people to change their behavior. And a lot of the tools, if you've been reading our national newsletter, our national magazines over the last few years, you've seen a lot of things about social marketing. Social marketing is a term that has to do with a method of getting information across. The mistake that people make, because when they started hearing about social marketing about five years ago, was also when people started talking about social media, so they think they're the same thing. Social marketing is a method that you use to communicate with people. Social media is a means to do that. They're not the same thing at all. Social media is one of the outlets you may choose to use in your marketing plan, but social marketing has 
refillable bottle is a single, simple, doable action. That's a, it's a good example. So focus on that, and then make sure that those messages are action-oriented when you give them. To say to someone, using a refillable bottle is a good idea, is a very different thing than to say, please use a refillable bottle. That's a very different 